things. So a box of gloves that I didn't pay nearly what they go for now. They were pre-COVID. The trick is not to get any on me and not to get cut. I also have a roll of nice thick paper towels and a trash can because I'm pretty sure we're going to need it. All right, so for our first trick, we're going to start by sealing the bottoms of the oven because this thing has more cracks than, well, it just has a lot of cracks. I'm sorry, you guys probably can't see a whole lot of what I'm doing, so I'm going to try and turn this. So I've got it smeared along here because, well, it's just one big freaking crack at the bottom. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smear this. Time for a glove change. Now I do have thinner gloves, but I'm wearing my thick gloves because, well, I don't want to get cut and this will give me a little bit of insurance. Now, the dust. Yeah, on the bright side, I didn't pay much for them. Alright, so we've got cracks up here and in the front. So the next thing we need to do is flip it over and work back there. If you're following along, I did add some on the outside here because I just want this good and sealed. Even if it does cost me a box of gloves. We're going to 
pause and put the back back on because I, I really need some stability on this thing. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I do have carpal tunnel, so this is hard on my hands, but I'll get through it. have carpal tunnel because I do stuff like this but all right now there are more holes than this thing than Swiss cheese Toaster is exactly the right word for this thing. Oven, mm, that's being really generous. More like toaster campfire. Surprised it didn't come with marshmallow sticks. It's got so many holes in it. All right, so what we're gonna do is pop this back on. things you can do if you haven't really done much with a pair of gloves is you can blow air into them to keep them right side out they will live until you be used again First, we have to figure out where the holes are. That's too big. It's one of those stupid security screws. Found one. 
We're not gonna run it all the way in because the first thing we want to do is just get these lined up. Let's see if we can get the second one out. using the screwdriver because of the carpal tunnel. If I didn't have it, I would use a screwdriver. So my best advice is if you are young and you think that you're indestructible, first, you're not. And second, please take care of your hands. You, there's really, they can do things to make it better, but they really can't fix your hands. And I'm very grateful that my right hand was worked on doctor did a great job but you know it still ain't perfect so if I could go back 30 years that's the one thing I would tell myself is protect your hands okay so now in here and smear that silicone around. The best advice I can give you when it comes to spreading silicone is use a very light touch. You are less likely to be cut if you're using a light touch. Now there are some holes in the back and we're going to deal with those shortly. got a good amount of silicone in the gaps but I just want I'm being pretty frugal with the silicone so
Sorry, the uh, show is probably not as great as you would like, but I'm really doing my best. So we've got some more gaps up here. All right. I think I can increase my gloves per spread here by only using one. Because this isn't really turning out to be as messy as I expected. and enlarge this. I've got a little hole here that needs to be dealt with. I've got an, to seal around this. And then, for good measure, I'm going to come back and seal this on the outside.
just pause there for a second. Destroy another glove. can't emphasize enough be really careful when you're working down here because this is a 14 inch long razor blade and it will cut the hell out of you this piece right here is sharp 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 it is not designed to be doing what we're doing with it don't think this is going to be a one coat project but we'll see I'm going to squirt some more in there and pull out another handful of gloves that was just not enough fun. Now we get to screw around with this side. Got a couple little spots back here that I want to add some to. most part this is done I want to goop some more on these uh, vents that I'm trying to close up with silicone One more spot.
Sealed on the outside and sealed on the inside, it ain't gonna leak. All right, so at this point, we have to set this aside and let it dry. So I'm gonna stop the video and put it outside.